Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another interesting and short video. A lot of subscribers, a lot of people on LinkedIn had asked me, can you tell me simple difference between a data analyst role and a business analyst role? So I will break down some of the differences, what you can expect, what skills you need, what are the qualifications, maybe what is specifically things that you can focus on when it comes to these roles. Let's get started right away. First of all, when it comes to skills, as a data analyst, you obviously need Excel, SQL, some data visualization tool knowledge, maybe Tableau or Power BI or Google Looker Studio. Start with one tool that is fine. Basics of Python, Python, Pandas, Matplotlib, all these can also definitely help. As you see at the core level, data analyst is a little more of a technical role. Whereas a business analyst role could just involve you using Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, but also importantly, having domain expertise. If you are, you know, in the field of marketing as a business analyst, you might need to know a tool like Google Analytics and have an understanding about marketing metrics. Same way, if you want to break into the field of finance as a business analyst, you need to know the industry, you need to understand the important key performance indicators in the field of finance and any specific tools related to finance. Same applies for any other field you choose, right? So as you see, domain expertise is more valued for business analyst roles, whereas for data analyst roles, technical skills are the key. Of course, in both roles, you will communicate with clients and stakeholders. So client management, stakeholder management, communication skills are obviously very important as well. Now, moving on to the qualifications. What do you actually need? In my opinion, this is just my personal opinion. Today, the data analyst and business field is so open that you can come from any background. There are people from humanities becoming data analyst. People from psychology become data analyst. People who come from a very core technical background like mechanical engineering becoming a business analyst, right? So background, I think, is not a barrier these days. Definitely, you can learn these tools or learn the skills and domain expertise coming from any background. I personally studied metallurgical engineering, but then I worked as a business intelligence analyst, data analyst and business analyst. So definitely, it is possible for each one of you. Don't worry about your background, right? Having any sort of bachelor degree definitely helps. If you have an MBA, even better for some business analyst roles. But it doesn't really matter what background you come from. Your motivation, ability to learn your way of solving problems and your communication skills matter much more. Now, moving on to the next point, which is basically around future, right? What do I think is the future of these roles? Definitely as a data analyst, knowing these tools like Excel, SQL, Python is all fine. But in this age of chat GPT, try to leverage AI in your work. You don't need to write complex code yourself. You can take first opinion from chat GPT, get maybe 50% of the code and adapt it based on the requirements, right? Save your time like that and definitely move on to learning data engineering tools or maybe some data science concepts, right? This is very, very important. So branch out beyond data analytics. This can definitely help you differentiate yourself from the others in the coming future. From a business analyst point of view, as I said, long back and even few years back and even more recently, I've seen a lot of people just use Excel PPT. So now become more technically savvy, maybe learn some SQL and also learn about A use cases in your industry. So as a business analyst, you can also pitch this in your company, right? Being updated with current industry trends is equally important in both the roles. Apart from this, what else do we have? We can talk about what are the sample role names? Right. You might be thinking, what are the job descriptions I can apply to? So under data analyst, there are many options. Companies give different names. So marketing data analyst, just data analyst, supply chain data analyst. These are some of the roles you can look at. There are a lot more names. I'm just giving some sample names. Same way for business analyst, the most simple term used is business analyst, obviously. But there are also roles like marketing analyst, HR analyst, finance analyst, supply chain analyst, and so on. Right. First of all, don't worry about the name of the role but rather worry about the skills that are needed, read about job description, go through the interview process, understand what the role is like. There have been many cases where I've attended interviews for business analyst roles, but the role was mostly of data analyst, right? So sometimes it is also interchangeable. So read the job description and keep that in mind, right? Finally, one other small thing that I also want to highlight which is the fact that there is this role called business intelligence analyst. My first job after graduation from engineering was business intelligence analyst. This is a very interesting role. Mine was a little more on the technical side, but definitely this is the role that can combine your data analytics and business analytics skills. Like you'll use Excel, SQL, 
Python. At the same time, you might develop PPTs. You are expected to build domain expertise. My role was in the field of e-commerce. So I understood those e-commerce KPIs from scratch. This definitely helped me build my expertise. And as I moved on to other roles, my e-commerce background helped because back in 2014, e-commerce was still new. So having e-commerce experience were very useful. Similarly, today, maybe web three or like you know cryptocurrency or a related roles can help you build the domain expertise that can make you more independent on top of this if you have technical skills even better right so ba analyst or business and intelligence analyst is a role which kind of combines both so definitely keep your eye open for this role as well a lot of companies hire for ba analyst as well particularly companies like amazon and big tech players definitely have this role so go and search their websites see if you can apply to some of these roles I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.